Hey everybody, one of Wisdom here. Uh, what we have today, it was Monday, April 9th, this finally came in. It is the Lightning Rod Cinder Triple Pack. Uh, basically what you find is people either tell you that these are a dime a dozen, triples and singles, and they literally overrun the shelf at their stores. Or if you're like me, you can't find them anywhere and you have to buy online. Uh, these have been, uh, GameStop.com has had these regularly here lately for $19.99. Of course, I ordered this, I don't know, 10-12 days ago, and thanks to Toys R Us's lightning fast shipping, it came here today. But uh, Toys R Us has them off and on, $24.99 there. My recommendation, as usual, if you can't find them local, uh, best bet online is either Amazon, which is pretty hard to catch them still in my opinion, uh, that's what I tried to do before buying from Toys R Us. Or GameStop, who, after I ordered it and it had shipped, you know, had them up on their site. They're easy to come by, $19.99 at uh, GameStop and Amazon. But uh, what this is, is the uh, triple pack that features Lightning Rod, Cinder, and Zook. I know that uh, many times on Zook I say Zook. It's just habit. That's what a lot of people call them. Uh, Obviously, bazooka, you know, zook is where it comes from. It kind of sounds, it's either the uh, opening trailer or something I've seen that was official. He kind of sounds Jamaican. But uh, anyway, you know, it's a pretty nice triple pack. I would have really liked the singles because I didn't really want, you know, another cinder. But, uh, and it would have saved money. But, uh, you know, you take what you can get. The singles, sadly, for lightning rod and zook, uh, I haven't seen them online anywhere, you know, for retail prices. I refuse to pay scalpers. But uh, here's a good look at the front. You know, you've kind of got the artwork at the top, the characters. You know what, on the triple packs, they don't ever put the slogans. Uh, as best as I remember, you know, they there's like four or five lines they cycle through when they're introduced. I guess the slogan is their first one. Uh, lightning Rods, I believe, is one strike and you're out. Cinder. Uh, I think it may be Volts and Lightning. I mean, I've probably covered it in the video where we unboxed her. Uh, and then Zook. Uh, Bambuya has been written on a lot of packages. And then I think overseas, you know, they may have, uh, you know, a different slogan or something. It's kind of a small issue. But uh, it could be time for the boom, too. Uh, you know, like I said, they'll, those are just introduction lines. They kind of cycle through them. Uh, you know what Toys R Us, a lot of people, when you do buy singles, they send them in a padded envelope, which usually just obliterates the packaging. But, you know, I do try to keep these in decent shape. And, of course, you know, I guess the uh, handling, if you will, includes bending the corners up pretty bad. But, uh, nonetheless, on the back, you kind of see the inset for Lightning Rod, Cinder, and Zook. Uh, of course, it showcases all 32 of them, the other three that you need to complete each element. But with that said, we will go ahead and attempt to open this. And, you know, this is a part of the video where you usually look like an idiot. But as always, I just go ahead and pre cut it. You know, it saves everyone some time. Of course, it's always the instructions that fall out. I haven't said that in a while, but. Uh, this time we didn't tear the paper, but uh, what works best for me is just popping them out like that, which is what we'll go ahead and do with all three. Cinder I'm not going to spend a lot of time on. I actually got her in a single pack, and uh, if you want to see her in detail, you know, I recommend you check that out. But we got the figures out, and now the joyous occasion of popping everything else up and I will say while I'm just burning time wave 5 is actually out Australia seems to be the only place that people have found lamb shell at this point in time uh, here in the US Warnado uh, single pack of course Warnado single pack camel and single pack igniter have all been found uh, it's primarily Walmart, you know, people are finding them locally. And then, of course, at uh, GameStop, they've kind of posted a few, and I've seen quite a few pick them up at their local GameStops. 
uh, GameStop, actually, the distribution hubs get them, and then they just kind of pick what store gets what. Walmart, I believe, it's a direct shipment from Activision. So that kind of explains why you see so many more people finding them at Walmart. Uh, my local Walmart, I've confirmed the scalper theory. Uh, it's a long story, you can check the blog out for that. But uh, what we will do now, take a look at Lightning Rod. Uh, keep in mind, these stats on the cards really mean absolutely nothing. Uh, you know, they don't relate to anything in-game, contrary to what people might tell you. Since I've covered them from the beginning, I'm going to continue to do so. But power 65, uh, armor 60, agility 60, and luck 65. Pretty solid overall, if that were to mean anything. Uh, then you've got the web code card for Spyro's Universe, which, again, by the time you see this video, I will have them registered, so there's no point trying to steal it. Uh, then, of course, you get your sticker, you know, the name and the character. Uh, if you put them in collector's cases or your kids want them somewhere. Uh, Cinder, we have got power 55, defense 75, agility 85, and luck 45. Same thing, you get the web code card and then, of course, these stickers. I guess maybe that's a perk if you're, you know, already have a cinder like me and you had to buy the triple pack. You know, you can do something with the stickers, I guess. One way to look at it. And then Zook, uh, power 70, armor or defense 85, agility 20, luck 70. Web code card and, of course, your sticker. I guess I'll go ahead and do Cinder, uh, just get her out of the way. I know if I didn't, people would be mad, but like I said, if you want details on Cinder, go ahead and check out uh, the single pack unboxing. She is actually the last of the Undead Element Skylanders to be released. Uh, there to the back, where she's pointing, you actually see Ghost Roaster, Hex, and Chop Shop. So she wraps up, you know, your four basic Undead Elements. She was the last to be released. <laughs> A uh, story on her, of course, just real quick recap. She was captured, you know, when she was an egg by uh, some of Malfor's henchmen. He's a dragon. Uh, Spiral ultimately defeated her, and she came back to Skylands with him to kind of help fight evil. Uh, she uses her dark powers, of course, to fight the evil that raised her. And, you know, as I've said before, you know, since she kind of has that dark history, a lot of the Skylanders try to avoid her. But, uh... Her actual in-game stats, her health is 260, max of 520, speed 43, max 91, armor uh, 18, max 48, critical hit, uh, like 30, and a max of 80, elemental power 25, max of 100. Keep in mind when I say that, the first number will be your base out of the box if we were to just put her on our portal now, and the latter number will be when you complete all of the set heroic challenges for that uh, particular aspect or trait of the game. Uh, that actually puts Cinder on my Skylanders overall ranks. Uh, when I include health, that would put her 33rd. If you take health out of the equation and just focus on the power, she is 27th. Uh, you can find the uh, Skylander ranks on my blog, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. I uh, will go ahead and uh, do Zook. Next, I have to say, you know, I was kind of out of these, you know, Wave 4 characters. I was looking forward to Lightning Rod the most. But actually seeing Zook in person, I kind of, you know, he's growing on me. He just looks like a nut. <laughs> but, uh, basic, you know, story on him, he comes from a unique tribe of uh, bamboo people. They were basically sticks in the mud, if you will. Then one day he learned you could walk. Uh, they kind of have this special grove where they have these explosives, which you, know, you can kind of see right there. And uh, he basically started walking around doing crazy things, blowing stuff up, helping and saving people. Has a lot of songs written about him. Uh, of course, that's what a story scroll says. And then in uh, pursuit of greater things, he came to Skylands. And uh, one of his side goals is, of course, to have more songs written about him. But uh, like I said, just kind of seeing him in person, he sort of grows on you. And like I said, I believe in one of the videos I've seen on him, he has a uh, Jamaican sounding voice, if you will, so kind of a uh, tropical flavor to him. But uh, as far as his power, uh, he ranks 32nd uh, right there, you know, just ahead of Cinder overall when I include health in the stats. 
when you take the health out and just go by his power stats he would be 23rd which is a noticeable jump up his health is uh, 260 max of 520 speed 4391 armor 30 max of 60 critical hit 20 max of 70 and elemental power 25 max of 100 the cool thing about Zook uh, he's actually got pretty good armor you know they're usually low on Skylanders he begins at 30 uh, through heroics you can add 30 so he winds up at 60 that is actually a uh, you know pretty respectable number so and like I said kinda having him here in person in front of me uh, you know looks like it'll be a lot of fun to use in the game uh, last but not least we have lightning rod uh, which like I said he was the one wave 4 character that I thought you know would be the most fun to use look the most interesting get a good look at him here he's kinda got the chiseled physique uh, which plays into his storyline actually uh, if I remember correctly he's from the cloud kingdom and uh, he's basically I think what they called a storm giant and he essentially went around I uh, can kind of view him as like a celebrity status today uh, helped everybody out did all these crazy and great things uh, supposedly when he left to come to Skyland with Spyro uh, you know he was just never satisfied he always wanted more you know which is kind of on par with you know celebrities but uh, came to Skylands in search of greater things I thought it was funny you know they said uh, before he left they had a going away party that lasted 12 days uh, Kind of reminded me of like the Dos Equis, man. But, uh, anyway, he is actually the uh, best of the bunch here, you know, in terms of the stats, anyway. Uh, all my rankings that include health, Lightning Rod is actually number 14. Uh, if you take the health out of the equation and just view his power stats, he'd be 24th, coming in with 319 points. Health is 290, That's actually 60 greater than uh, Zook or Cinder. His speed, just like the other two, it's 43, max of 91, armor, 18, max of 48. His critical hit, uh, 30, max of 80, and elemental power, of course, 25, max of 100. But uh, he's a pretty cool-looking Skylander. He is actually the third air element Skylander. He joins up over here with Whirlwind and Sonic Boom. I uh, forgot to mention it earlier, but Zook is the third life element Skylander. Uh, joins up with uh, Stealth Elf and Stump Smash, of course. That basically, you know, no one really expected Wave 5 to come this soon. I'm glad they did. But uh, while I have the packaging here, that basically leaves. Uh, in the water element, Wave 5, you would need Wham Shell. Again, we're waiting to kind of see him here in the U.S. Uh, then when you come to the air element, we need Warnado who I am really looking forward to getting. Uh, if my Walmart didn't have a scalper, I'd probably have him right now, as well as Camo. Uh, Warnado will complete the air element. Camo will complete life. Of course, Wham Shell will complete the water element. And that'll be all 32 Skylanders. But uh, this triple pack, uh, you know, not too bad, particularly if you don't have Cinder. Uh, if you can get it locally, GameStop, Walmart, Target, you'll save money you know over buying the singles uh, like I said I had to use ToysRUs.com at the time I could never catch it on Act uh, on Activision but Amazon and uh, like I said when I ordered from Toys R Us GameStop had yet to post it to their site but uh, you get Lightning Rod, Cinder and Zook you know all three look like pretty cool characters uh, of course I've used Cinder quite a bit and uh, you can check out that single pack unboxing. This one really focused Lightning Rod and Zook, uh, respectively the third of the air and life elements. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, $24.99, ToysRUs.com is where I source mine. Uh, if your Walmart doesn't have scalpers like my stores do, you know, check that out. You can get it 19 same with a GameStop. Uh, the single packs you know try Walmart Target and then GameStop in that order you will save the most money uh, don't buy from the scalpers you know just be patient uh, if they can't make anything over five bucks they'll quit cleaning the shelves at the stores uh, if you've noticed on YouTube my comments uh, 
been really busy don't have a whole heck of a lot of time to get to them i do put priority on the blog one of wisdom.blogspot.com uh, i've got a blog there I ask one of wisdom i'll also post all the unboxings you can ask questions there uh, youtube comments i will get to eventually i don't know when so if it's incredibly important uh, your best bet you know would be to go to twitter or preferably the blog but uh, you know, questions, comments, ask here on YouTube. Uh, there's actually a lot of great people that follow along. Uh, many of them will answer your questions. Uh, like I said, I will do it. I just can't tell you when I'll get to it for sure. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, uh, and of course the blog, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. I do take care of that every night, you know, barring something crazy. And uh, like I said, there's a lot of polls on there, adventure packs, uh, which level you prefer, your favorite adventure pack character. Uh, we'll kind of get into some more cool stuff there. I've got the rankings, everything like that. So as always, thanks for watching, and uh, we will catch you next time, hopefully for when we unbox Warnado and Camo, uh, maybe even Wham Show if we get lucky. But uh, next thing I will do is introduce both Lightning Rod and Zook, uh, kind of show you their base stats, on the game and then of course come in and do their heroic challenges and a little bit of gameplay for you so be on the lookout for that until then we will catch you next time